have a blessed Thursday to all. This is Sister Daisy of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. Once while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gennesaret, and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all night long, but have caught nothing. Yet, if you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching people. When they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. Obeying in faith is power in weakness. Though Peter is a skilled fisherman, he allows the carpenter from Nazareth who may never have experienced throwing a net into the sea to prevail over him with an absurd fishing instruction. Peter could have asserted his knowledge of his trade. Yet, at the mere words of Jesus, he set aside his expertise and submitted unconditionally to what was impossible by human reckoning. It is precisely Peter's obedience in faith they turn the impossible situation into a manifestation of tremendous power. Submission and surrender, which the world regards as signs of weakness, open the floodgates of divine power. The best cooperators in God's work of transforming the face of the earth are not geniuses and experts, but obedient people. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, incline our hearts to obey, especially when we are tempted to prove that we know better. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son 
forever and ever.